So there we go. Now we'll come over to the other sub tool because we do want to export that one as well. And we'll just have a look at this mesh. Okay, now we do remember with this one we were using under the subdivision, we're just using the Maya style dynamics. So just take that off. And now we're back at a very low res mesh, 3000 active points for this sort of dynamesh thing. But let's just make sure we're at the lowest. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's any, no, there's, there's no levels on that. So we're good there to get ready and export it back. So you could save this now as the low res version. So you just file save as. Just call it eight and then decimated, meaning poly reduced, just so we have that in case of crashes or whatever. And the easiest way to do it is that if you are to export a subtool at a time, you can just export that as an OBJ. And that's a very easy way. Just use Maya to import as an OBJ. That's the OBJ export button. If you come across to Maya thing here, you can see the file import export. Do you also have FBX 2016? And that's all under the plugins menu under FBX is another way of getting all this stuff. So just taking out the important buttons and we can export that way. The FBX section is this down here. But of course the easiest way is sort of like the send feature, send to Mudbox, send to, to ZBrush. So it's GoZ and that's what GoZ is, is the send to other programs button. And we want to send to Maya in this case. So you need to make sure you got GoZ installed correctly. And that's just down here. And a good way to do it is to force reinstall all paths and then install the path to Maya. So there's where the buttons are for doing that and you'll have to follow through the instructions there. I'm going to give a fairly detailed instructions on how to do that. But just for now, that's where you install it. Now, once we've done that, you basically can just hit GoZ and GoZ all should export all the subtools there to Maya. So export all subtools, not just the current one, to the GoZ enabled application. And if I've done this already, but usually it'll say, which one do you want to use? And I've already specified it to be Maya. So this is just load up Maya and export these guys in. Now, Gozi can be a bit flaky, so just remember the export option, OBJs will get you there all the time. OBJ being the generic file format. So here we are in Maya now. And we just hit F and you can see that model. Now that still, I know it has done the nice smoothing for us and everything, and you can see how kind of nice that's looking. Now remember that in ZBrush, we were using a long lens. So that was equal to 80 or above, even longer. You can see that you can now, it's just Maya objects. So you could just group that and start moving that around. My style. So I might just do a quick lighting setup and render that out, but that's how you get it back into Maya and we can do a quick render on that just as the gray with a nice, you know, redshift render man, Arnold, any render of V-Ray, whatever you've got, could do a nice render just as a sculpt if you needed that. We can also start straight away to do a retopology if you need to do that. So that would be as easy as just making it live and they're just drawing on the points. So, so for my hotkeys, that's control shift Q and we're off in quad drawing like that. And there's, there's ways of even speeding up the mesh, but this isn't super heavy with the decimation on it. So if we have a look at our poly count, we're up around 150,000 tries. So if we're in quads, we'd be at 70,000 quads, 150,000 tries. It's not too bad in terms of the mesh there. So take that live off, save that out as your quad draw retopology base, and you can get started on making this into an animated mesh. We'll go back to ZBrush now and we'll just uh, see how to export displacement map and a few other things too, like getting a bit of poly paint happening and coming back and, and importing some colors into Maya as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. There we go. There's our sculpt sort of ready to go and we'll do a quick poly paint on him and bring him back as well.